And we your can... second choice is the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Who? The Heartbreak ne- Kid, Never heard of Shawn him. Michaels. Never heard of him. Is he a big star? Cool. <laughs> for, for me, if it wasn't for Shawn Michaels, you wouldn't have had an Attitude Era. Very true. Very true. Go back and look at 1995 to 1996, where you lose Bret Hart. Mm-hmm. He goes off and does that cowboy show after WrestleMania, after the yeah, hour, yeah, yeah. after the Iron Man match. Yeah. You lose Diesel, Runs Kevin up. Nash, and then you lose Razor to Scott WCW. Hall, however, however you want to call him. And all in this time, you have Shawn Michaels carrying carrying the Yeah. Carrying the bag, yeah, okay, really. Yeah. I mean, it, who on earth would have been able to keep everything going. Yeah, see, we, we discussed, before before we started recording, we did sit down and, and discuss this. So our, our responses to each other, we, we knew what we knew what was coming, but and we did talk about this for some time. It the the it's, thing with Shawn Michaels is is that in ninety six he was on an absolute another level. Oh yeah. Go yeah. back and watch his matches, his timing his it's, fluidness it's, in the ring. Is well, he had, the, he, had, he had charisma. Yeah, I mean, it's not for everyone. Mm. You know, the way that he was portrayed, he kind of looked, he kind of looked gay, didn't he? Let's, let's be honest. For the, <laughs> let's be honest. We're not, we're not, we're not homophobic that's, no, here. That's, yeah, that's, that's he, they, they, the, the they look, doled him up to yeah, look as I feminine mean, as possible. I mean, he wasn't a big hit with the actual male demographic really no. was he? but if you look at his in ring work yeah how he carried that period where there was well, yeah, no well, one there well, was he, literally no one like and you said he, earlier all, all the top guys were gone all the top guys of that era who they had built as the new generation yeah you had Kevin Nash you had Scott Hall the click basically yeah, yeah. pretty much yeah but Without them. So, out of curiosity, who? Because I, you are. I would. I would like to state this for the record. James is like Wikipedia when it comes to to, to wrestling. I'm a fanboy. This man is Wikipedia. Who was left at that time? I mean, what from a babyface and heel standpoint? I mean, either or any, yeah. You, you've you've got an up and coming Triple H. You've got an up and coming Mankind. Right, right. Uh, you've got the one, two, three kids. He's still there. So, really? Yeah, he's still oh. there, but he's turned heel and he's about to go. He's about to go to WCW. You've got Owen Hart. You've got the British Bulldog. You've got Vader. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. No, I remember that. Yeah, the but incident with them too. What you've got to look at, guys, and I'm not trying to sell you on this. This is my personal opinions. I don't care if you agree with it or not, quite frankly. We're uh, all entitled to our own opinions. Yeah. This is just ours, but we would like to hear what yours are. After he has the Iron Man match, mm-hmm. he has a no holds barbed match, I think it is, uh, in your house. Let's test my memory. It's under in your now, right? yeah. Under pressure now. Fucking hell! I think I've it's. Bigged, I've bigged you I up. I think it's on. I think, <laughs> and everyone's probably going to look now. I well, think it's I in your house seven. Out and go and look this I, quick. I think it's. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's in your house seven, mm-hmm. and it's good friends, better enemies. He has an absolutely unbelievable match with Diesel. Unbelievable match. Go back and watch that match. That. It's fantastic. Right. It's the one where at one point Michaels goes through the table and there's a false leg involved. Oh, Do you remember yes. that? It's Mad Dog for Sean's yeah. leg. Yeah, yeah, no, I, yeah, yeah, I have watched that. It's yeah. a fantastic match. Oh, Christ, yeah. yeah. No, I remember that now. Yeah, yeah. Then, then we move yeah. forward. The British Bulldog is not the greatest draw. He has a fantastic two matches. I think it's in your house, eight. Yeah. And then he goes on to King of the Ring. Steve Austin's in the background, remember, at the moment. He's only just beginning to become Stone Cold. So he's not there yet. Right, right, right. right. Uh, And then you've got Mankind, Mm -hmm. Mind Games. Mm. One of the most underrated matches 
ever. It is See, unbelievable. Uh, Again, go back and watch that. I think it's in your house ten. As, again, as we, me, me and James discussed this before uh, before we started recording, um, and as I, I, no doubt you'll hear me say this many, many, many times, and I'm pretty sure every topic that we cover, my my choice is going to have a mankind or a dude yeah. love or a cactus. Well, I think that my, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I'm the same. I yeah. there's very little of Mick Foley that I didn't enjoy. Uh, yeah. I can't think of a match that didn't entertain me. I can think of one, which was a triple threat match, I believe at, it was a cage match, and I think it was either at, I want to say Breakdown, right, or Judgment Day in 1998, and it was Ken Shamrock and The Rock, and I, I, I didn't really I enjoy that match, that. I about, yeah, but that's what I'm saying, that's the only match okay. I can think of in my head. Uh, but yeah, like, like you said, mind games... Mankind, and this was Mankind when he was a heel. That match is it's insane because you've got two completely it's, different it's, styles. It's chaotic. Yeah. It, it, Michael's, I think what everyone has to remember is Michael's is a small guy mm. and he's so talented that when he's in that ring, you don't think of him as a small guy. Yeah. You imagine a Rey Mysterio going up against a Psycho Sid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or a diesel. Yeah. I'm not so... Uh, obviously, Rey Mysterio's smaller than yeah. Shawn Michaels, but not by much. No. I mean, then we go in to the Attitude Era. Mm -hmm. The originator with Triple H of DX. The originator of that. Yeah. Easily one of the greatest stables yep. of all time. Definitely then he goes the away. most entertaining stable of all time, that's for sure. Yep. Then he goes away. He returns four years later mm -hmm. and comes back at SummerSlam 2002 and has one of the greatest matches ever. On his return after four years, a street fight unsanctioned mm -hmm. with Triple H. It is an unbelievable it match. Outstanding. Unbelievable. Going on to WrestleMania 19. Remember, longevity. We haven't even talked about 1994 and the <laughs> race of Ramon. Yeah. That's oh, a match, yeah. Oh. But let's move on. WrestleMania 19, you've got The Rock and Austin on that show. You've got Hogan and Vince on that show. He steals the show with Chris Jericho. Oh, it is God, a stunning yeah. match. He goes on, has a... In the next WrestleMania, WrestleMania 20, he has a stunning match with Benoit and Triple H. Mm. Which doesn't but, obviously get talked about no. that much now. Yeah. Moving on from there, he goes on and he has the match with Kurt Angle, which is one of the greatest is, matches of all oh, time. I'm so glad you brought that up. That is out of this world. Here's my argument. I'm turning you, and I? Right? <laughs> 22. Vince is old. Vince has never been good in the ring. He has the greatest match with Vince. At 22. Was that the... Uh, street fight. Street fight, that's it. Yeah. It's the one when he jumps off the fucking Great Ladder. It's yeah, about yeah, 20 foot. Elbow straight with it when he's yeah, in the trash can. Yeah, and he has the trash can that's on right. you. Yeah. It's a great match. It is, it's brilliant. And then, and then moving on from there, I'm sorry, I'm a huge Shawn oh, Michaels right, fan. <laughs> yeah, you want to write all this down. Uh, 23. He is in the main event. He schools John Cena through mm -hmm. that match. It is stunning. Oh, yeah. Moving on to yeah. 24. He carries Ric Flair. Some that, people say the greatest oh, of all time in an emotional match, in a retirement match. He does the famous, I love, I love you. you. I'm sorry. And then that is, that is, we, I, we're, I just, Flair, we're just that going. That is an emotional moment. Yeah. We're just going on WrestleMania mm. here, guys. Then you to feel, finish his career, he has the... Probably his best matches against The Undertaker. Oh, see, that, this is the point I was waiting for you to get to. Yeah. That, that build-up. Yeah, he, you know, he has... Is it going for that started off with the Elimination Chamber? Or... Well, the first one was just a normal match. The first one was... It was sort of built as Sean was the light and The Undertaker was dark. dark. Do you remember? Yeah, 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 he yeah. come down with the light. Yeah, that's uh, right. 
He, he comes down dressed as the Undertaker, but in white as his entrance. Yeah, that's it. The second one was the retirement. That's it. And he yeah. and the Undertaker refused to fight him, and he, he got it. desperate. Yeah, he wouldn't give he it, got yeah. desperate. He tried yeah. to pee him off as much as physically possible yeah. to the point where he went, "Fine, you want it, you got yeah. it." And then and then you move uh, the Undertaker is straight versus career, and the Undertaker wins. Yeah, the Undertaker was my other choice, even in this match. And then, <laughs> and, and all interlinked. Yeah, somehow. see, I tell you what, my my number one is unoriginal as fuck. Well. Don't worry, mate. Uh, You've ruined one of my other picks, so you know what's coming next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I I think I've said enough about Shawn Michaels. Love him or hate him, which a lot of people hate him. He was a pain in the ass early on. Mm-hmm. You cannot deny talent. So much, much like what you said about Punk when I said he's a Marmite, you love him or hate him. I'll be honest with Michaels, I'm in the middle on that one. I, yeah, I, I think just... I think he's got a legacy where, and I think he was aware of that when he came yeah. back, that he had a deplorable legacy oh, yeah. of yeah. backstage politicking yeah. and just being a complete and utter arsehole to people. Yeah, it's, it is, yeah, it's quite well documented that the whole, you know, the clique... But at the same time, I just want to say this. Does Hulk Hogan not have that legacy? Oh, let's not even go there. Let's, no, let's save that for another one. I'm just saying. You no, know, no, because, I know. I totally get that. I you know, really do. I mean... I think the only... The only does big, the Ultimate Warrior not have that legacy? True. There's very... The, the, the only massive issue I ever had with Shawn Michaels, and I am a massive fan of him when he was in WCW, was Vader. Yeah. And we all know that Vader was a stiff jobber. A I, stiff I, I, I'm not a fan of Vader's work because I I I know that he took liberties with people. Yeah, yeah. And I yeah, I see I again I will see both sides of it and I'd have loved to have seen him have a massive I, I know run. I know where you're gonna go with this. You're gonna yeah. go where uh, apparently buried Vader yeah. at uh, I'm not. How, too, I'm not too sure how true that is. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, th- with all the heat that he got in the early days with the click, and that's why I'm yeah. saying he's always going to have to yeah. deal with that sort of situation. Controversy follows controversy. Absolutely, and that's the major issue there. So, okay, so I am done with Shawn Michaels, right? Mister WrestleMania. By the way, remember, guys, <laughs> you just had the whole <laughs> rundown. <laughs> Mister WrestleMania. Yep. 